Hi, dear students. You are welcome back to Edubay Dynamic Solution. Um, what I'll be teaching you today is the May June 2023 paper 22 presentation. All right. The source file for this paper, I put it in the description of this video. You can check it. Now, the question says you are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of this slide using the file J232 vcword.rtf the easiest way of doing this is to open the powerpoint okay just open the powerpoint on your computer then after that you can just click on open so then after that you click on file all right file then open browse and document this one okay i couldn't see it just click on all file then you will see the file oh, let me look at the question again oh, vc word so that should be um, this one so click on open so it looks like this now the next question says uh, create a presentation, then unless otherwise instructed, the slide must display a title and a bulleted list. All right. Now, place, place in the header automated slide number, left align. Place in the header automated um, slide number, left align. So just click, just click on your presentation here. Then you click on view. We click on view, slide master. So then we are going to put it in the header, automated p uh, slide number. Then um, you see the slide number here. Slide number is already here. So just drag it. The question says left align in the header. Okay, reduce the size of this one. Left align in the header. But in order to display this, just click on Insert. Then um, header and footer is there. Then you need to activate it, okay, so that it can display. You see, it's black. If you don't do that, it will never show. All right. Then the next question says: Place in the footer your name, center number, candidate's number, left align in the footer. In the footer. You need to activate this one as well, okay, in the footer. Then just press apply to all. Now the footer is here, your name, center number, then candidate's number, then needs to be where? Needs to be left aligned in the footer. So remove this one, then drag this one to the, to the left side. Now, the f then after that, the question says make sure the header and footer appear in the same position on every page and no item overlap there. Now, use the data in the file J23. Maybe let me just close this slide master. Then you see everything looks so nice. Now, oh, sorry, what happened? This one shows footer. This one works but for the footer doesn't work let me check it again uh, what is the issue um, slide master we click on the first one. Oh, sorry <laughs> i was actually editing the last one here no 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 i supposed to be editing the first slide i supposed to be editing the first slide you see so don't make that mistake too. So just copy it. This is the one I supposed to be editing. All right. Or to be on safe side, I can just edit this one again. Adobe XXX. Then one, two, three, four. Let me put it in the left. And reduce the size of this and put this one here. 
okay let me check it again inserts header and footer okay both of them i activate them already apply and then close it okay everything should be okay now if you go to next slide you see everything is okay let's now go back to the question use the data in the file j2322 app.csv what's the data let's open that one app.csv okay this is the data let's open it in my own case open with excel then what we need to do to create a vertical bar chart to show the number of download for each app to show the vertical bar chart so click here close this one so just click here then um, double click okay the rank for each app according to the question the question says create a, to create a vertical bar chart to show the number of download for each app the number of download this is the download for each app so which means we can choose this one all right choose this hold control on your keyboard all right click on this one as well each app and the number of download so you click on insert this is a vertical bar chart vertical bar chart oh sorry oh you can choose this one yeah this is a vertical bar chart click on this now after you've done this chart must display only the app title and download millions app title and download yeah that's what we use app title and download all right then uh display with labels the app title on the category access app title on the category access where is the category access this one app title yeah this is a category this one is a value access this one is value access this one is category access so what we do is right click you can show access title so what do you type here you say app title app title so then the question says do not do not display a legend so we do not display a legend here then label the chart as follows so title is going to be this one copy then come back here um, paste now then value axis is millions value axis you click here this is what we call value axis is million all right then the next question display only the data values along the top of each display the data values along the top of each bar the data value along the top of each bar so you can click here data label check this one you see it shows on each bar then next question so format the value axis scale to display zero minimum maximum of 15 increment of three so in that case what we do is right click here right click click on format axis format axis zero minimum the maximum of what maximum of 15 increment of three maximum of 15 then major major means increment increment of three Min minor no you don't need to do anything here so close this one you see zero increment of three maximum of 15. now the question says this one down place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title virtual cycling trends so we are done with this click copy then come to your powerpoint virtual cycling the question says we should put it in the left so drag this one and paste it here 
this one way this one way of doing it another way of doing it is to click here and you choose layout and you can choose two contents okay which means you can convert this one oh, let me show you so that's because of next time so it looks like this initially right so you can click on layout and you choose two contents all right so on this one you can paste the chart there but the question says it needs to be um where is it the question says place to the left of the bullet left of the bullet which means this one needs to be here and this one needs to be here so there are many ways of doing things by the way it doesn't matter how you do it the most important thing is you get the correct answer all right now the next question answers uh, all data and the labels are fully visible no words in the chart are split no words in the in the chart are split yeah everything looks okay nothing splits into two and all the data and labels are fully visible the chart and its content do not overlap any slide item so nothing overlap by the way yeah it is it's not so it's not like this this one is overlapping so nothing like that everything looks okay now on the slide with the title virtual cycling trend okay on the same slide what do we need to do create so create a square shape action button and position this in the top right corner um okay uh, so uh, this is the slide ben uh, sorry let me look at the slide again so on the slide virtual cycling trend virtual cycling trend okay here then we need to put an action button so just come here you click on shape and you see the square all right then according to the question the question says create a square shaped square square shaped action button and position this in the top right corner position this in the top right corner top right corner anywhere here so it's going to be square perhaps yeah this look like a square now format the action button so that when clicked it opened the document with the file name j232trend.rtf okay it means we need to put a link there so right click here then you see uh link you see the link right click on link then when you click on it create a new document place this in a new document then existing or file you click on existing or file then you need to look for the file in your computer in my own case i put it here in my own case okay i put it here i think it's under download click on download this is the file this one oh there are a lot of file here which one the question says j232 trend 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 okay this one this is the file so then i press okay it means whenever i click here you can see so it's going to open that file now the question then says enter the text top fitness trend as the text on the action button so um, come to the action button just type anything inside so top fitness square then as the text on the action button place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the action button linked to the correct document make sure that the file name is fully visible and that's four marks all right which means we need to come back here right click then uh when you edit the link okay we need to do the screenshot of this so we need to do the screenshot of this one 
So the question wants you to show the document's name. And this is the document name, J23 something. So now print screen. Then you come to your evidence file and you print, you put it there. Then as usual, quickly reduce the size of this to something like this. Okay. This. Then you can show everything. You see the name of the file is there. So this shows that you have done exactly what the question wants you to do. Now, the next question says, uh, we have done this. Set the slide sh show. Yeah, set the slide show so it loops continuously on screen. Set the slide show so it, it loops continuously on screen. So you click here. This one just press OK. Then where is slide show? Then you need to click on slideshow, then it loops continuously on screen. Um, we have one option here. So, uh, no, not here. Okay, set up this one. Set up slideshow. Click on set up slideshow. Then you need to choose the option loop continuously. You see? Loop continuously. And then before you press OK, is that does the question ask you to do something else? Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show the presentation set to display in a continuous on-screen loop. So, usually whenever the question asks you to do something extra, they will ask for the evidence. So, just pay attention to that. That's why this evidence document is very important. If you don't provide this, you will lose mark here. So, make sure you do, you take care of you take care of your evidence document very well, okay? Then reduce the size for this. Now, then the next, press OK. This one is done. Now, the next question then says, save the presentation, print all the slides as handout. Save the presentation, done. Print all the slides as handout in portrait orientation with three slides to the page. Portrait orientation with three slide to the page so click on file then you save that's the first thing then the second thing is you need to print you print then portrait orientation uh, you choose three slide on a page where is it three slide on a page but it's going to be portrait like this three slide on a page then it's going to be portrait this is the best option that is available okay then after that print the slide with the title virtual cycling trend as a full page on a landscape orientation so after you finish printing this then the question then says you need to print this slide alone so control p again then you click on current slide only this slide so full page then this is um port uh, this landscape of course then you print this then you can claim your int marks then after that printing you do all the necessary printing you print your evidence file and that's all so my next video is going to be for uh, paper 31 which is the web authoring and spreadsheet. So thank you for watching this video and don't, my, and don't forget to visit my website as well, courses.edubi.com. I do have um, a lot of online courses with other teachers, with other examiners. So yeah, you can always visit our website and you can support us as well so that we can make more video for you. So thank you for watching this video. See you in next video. Bye.